The David F. Peters Lecture began in May 2007 when Jane Peters created an endowment in memory of her late husband. David had served on the Westminster Canterbury Foundation Board and his service inspired Jane to join the board, eventually serving as its first female chair from 2008 to 2009. This special gift has allowed Westminster Canterbury to bring renowned speakers to share their knowledge with our residents and to challenge their thinking. This popular lecture series has included acclaimed speakers, including Katherine Patterson, the Reverend Dr. J. Philip Newell, the Reverend Dr. William H. Willimon, Dr. Diana Butler Bass, Reverend Barbara Brown Taylor, and Dr. Eben Alexander. This year's speaker is the Reverend Stephen P. Eason, Presbyterian church leader, dynamic preacher, and author. Hi, I'm Steve Eason, and I'm going to be this year's Peter's Lecture, which I'm very honored to do on November the 30th. I hope to see all of you there. Um, I've got a small topic that's very easy to address. What is the future of the mainline American Protestant Church? Sounds pretty easy. I should be able to knock that off in an hour. I've actually been doing a lot of reading and research on this topic um, since probably 2002. But I've been concerned about it my whole ministry, and I've been in the ministry uh, 38 years. So what is the future of the church? Part of what I'll be doing is diagnosis. What is the problem? Why are we talking about this? Part of it's going to be prognosis. Is there any hope for where we're going? And part of what I'll be talking about is treatment or cure. What's going on in the church today to address declining memberships, declining budgets, young people not showing up, we're aging out, and a lot of churches are dying. Um, things have changed in this country. Not so much in the church as outside the church. And these aren't small changes, they're huge changes that are affecting the church today. I hope you'll join us November 30th. I look forward to being there with you. Um, thanks, and I'll see you then. <laughs>